quick video going over the similarities and differences between the Shun Classic 8-inch chef's knife and the Global G2, which is actually a 20 centimeter chef's knife, but for all intents and purposes, it's pretty much eight inches. The reason I'm making a comparison video between these two is that they're both similarly priced knives, and at the same time, both Global and Shun are very well known, both in the culinary world and with just general consumers. So a lot of times people find themselves trying to choose between these two brands. Off the bat, let's discuss the similarities. Both of these are made in Japan, they're handmade. Both of these have lifetime warranties, and both of these have a Japanese edge. And they're actually pretty similar edges. The Shun has a 16 degree edge, and the Global has a little bit thinner of a 15 degree edge, which means it is a little bit sharper. That's sort of where the differences begin. The Shun, as you can see, is a more traditionally made knife. It's hand forged. It has a full tang going through this black pack of wood handle, and pack of wood is essentially a compressed resin filled wood. The Global, on the other hand, is actually a two-piece knife, and that's what gives it this modern look. A lot of people think it's all one piece, but in fact, the blade is made separately, the handle is hollow and made separately, they fill it with sand, then they weld it together and polish it up. The reason they do that is because they're able to really control the weight by doing it that way and make a light knife. But the con is that there have been stories, though rare, about the weld here breaking, and in my mind, that's sort of one of the last things you want to happen while you're using a knife. Next thing I want to discuss is, aside from the fact that this has no tang, obviously, and this is a full tang, is the actual composition of the blades. Global uses a Cromova 18, which is a relatively soft steel, 56 to 58 hardness, and Shun uses VG Max, which is actually a notch above the gold standard VG 10, and it's a 61 hardness. The pros and cons to both are that the Shun actually holds an edge very, very well, since it's so hard, it's very resilient but it can't take abuse. The global is gonna dull much faster, but it can take a lot more abuse because the metal is soft and sort of bends instead of breaking. In my mind, however, if you're using the knife properly and you're using good knife skills, you're always gonna to wanna to have the hardest metal you can because like I said, it dulls way, way less quickly and it needs much less maintenance in terms of sharpening and honing and things like that. On top of that, the global, as you've seen, is just a piece of Cromova 18 that's been sharpened to an edge. Whereas the Shun is a piece of VG Max that also has 34 layers on either side of stainless steel incorporated into it. And that does a couple of things. Number one, it gives it this gorgeous Damascus finish. But number two, it makes the blade extremely resistant to pitting, to staining, to rust, and things like that. Aside from that, like I said, they both have relatively similar angles in the blade as well. And while they both have lifetime warranties, the Shun also comes with lifetime sharpening for free and I've always felt that's sort of a deal breaker. The reason is this, if you take your knives to a reputable sharpener who does it by hand, you're looking at about $5 per inch of the knife to sharpen it. And even then you don't really know what the result's gonna be. There are always horror stories. With Shun, you send them the knife, they look at it, if they see any problems, they throw it away and they give you a new one. But otherwise, you can rest easy knowing they're gonna put the exact same edge back on the knife that was there when you first purchased it and when you first fell in love with the blade. So I think especially considering the fact that it's free, it makes it a no-brainer. Either way, there are pros and cons to both knives. I'll put a link down below to both. Uh, I obviously prefer the Shun Classic from the two, but if you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, let me know. Otherwise, I will talk to you very soon. Quick video going over the similarities and differences between the Shun Classic 8-inch chef's knife and the Global G2, which is actually a 20 centimeter chef's knife, but for all intents and purposes, it's pretty much 8 inches. The reason I'm making a comparison video between these two is that they're both similarly priced knives.